Hi, I'm up in Sheffield today with Tony Markles at Joseph Markles Limited. Nice to meet you, Tony. Hi. And if you could just talk us through some of the products you're currently producing. Well, we go through from cheap beach to the DIY trade, the traditional half round gauges, uh, right through to the expensive full brass phase, tri mortise gauge, which we call the sand marking gauge, we do simple spirit level. Squares, double brass face square, which is square on the inside faces and the outside. Uh, normal square, only square on the inside face. Uh, trial bevel, full brass face, mitre square, brass face again both sides. And, uh, marking knife, screwdrivers, patches, and smaller midget tools for. Being small, intricate cabinet making. Uh, that's what we concentrate on, don't we? Anything else? We make some really big squares, 24 inch squares, 18 inch squares. We make uh, what we call panel gauge, it's a very big marking gauge for marking panels. Yeah. Big panels. And we do a, an adjustable square, which is, don't make very many. One where one side set at 90, the other side we can adjust a bit like them in a way. Okay. And that's about two foot long. Yeah. Yeah, so, so we're lucky in that um, there's one member in, in, in the Marples clan has gone back to about 1450. Gosh. In the family tree. Uh, and obviously from that you've got all the data. And, um, so we can actually go back on the joiner's tool side. Look at my notes here. Back to about 1800. Wow. That was the first Joseph Marples. Um, then it's gone Joseph Marples, Joseph, Joseph Cooper, my great grandfather, Joseph Edward, my grandfather, Joseph Ronald, my dad, me, Joseph Anthony, and my lad Joseph Samuel. So I'm number six in the line, my lad's number seven. Um, but if you go back to oh, it's difficult, about 1800, the two cousins, on one side did the William Marples right, yes. line. Yeah. We did our side, so the family split then. So obviously William Marple started in 1828, and we started 1840. And uh, we're still going. And back in the beginning, the range of tools you were. They were mainly playmakers, I think. Yeah. Um, and they did the braids, you know, the old uh, frame braids. Yeah. I think. I think there must have been one or two people making the brass frames and all the different companies finished them off, possibly bits of wood in, etc. Um, but we've always been in Sheffield 
Okay, so a brief period when we actually moved to Derbyshire, which is near where I live now, actually. Right. But uh, about 1900, we were literally up the road, about a quarter of a mile away. Yeah. Then moved into Middle Sheffield, and then 15 years ago, we moved here. And you know, we've named this factory York Works, which is named after the factory we had in about uh, 1880. It's called York Works. Okay. And then we had a, um, the, the corporate mark, which is before we had trademarks and whatever. And it was the Trial One, or First Trial. Yes. Um, and uh, so we've sort of brought that back into life with the, the trial one range of tools, the double brass face square, full brass face gauge, and things like that, which is our best. And, and there's been quite a resurgence in woodworking. Well, yeah, I mean, certainly the Americans are... are yeah, you know, they're, they're, they're proper woodworkers. Um, Using it more and more. You know, we still do an awful lot with other people's name on thousands of beach squares or beach bells, the DIY trade. Yeah. But then we go all the way through to the expensive rosewood stuff. Excellent. Thanks very much. There you go.